Good morning, everyone. This is Sachin Kuske from Electrical Engineering Department, SND College of Engineering and Research Center. Today, we are going to start our first unit, that is Digital Control System. So, first of all, we have to need basic knowledge about the control system. What is control system? So, basically, to operate any of the system, we need basically a control system. Means there is one system that is open loop and second one is closed loop. So feedback arrangement, all these terms are discussed in control system one. Today we are starting a part that is digital control system. So what is digital control system we discussed earlier, okay? Exactly, the digital control system offers some advantages over the analog control system. And here are some of its many advantages, just like the accuracy, implementation, then flexibility, then speed. See here, what is the accuracy in case of the digital control system? Basically, these digital signals are represented in terms of zeros and one with typical 12 bit or more to represent a single number. Secondly, this implementation of the error. If we see any of the block diagram in case of the control system, that control system offers input signal, output signal, one error detector or summing point and some gain, whatever. So that particular implementation of the error detector refers to digital processing of a control signal, which involves the addition and multiplication by stored the numerical value and the error that results from digital representation and arithmetic, which are negligible. At the same time, we have to need the flexibility of the control system. This flexibility offers an analog controller, which is difficult to modify or redesign once implemented in hardware. So that in, if we see any of the particular system that is uh, not flexible, means once the data is fixed, that storage memory or allocation of the system can permanently fix. But the such a digital control system have a position or have an offer that can flexible so that once the data can be edited, we can reuse same thing by erasing or by producing another program inside it or by providing some error detector signal into it. Okay, this digital controller is implemented in firmware or software and is modification is possible without a complete replacement of the original controller. The next advantage is that its speed. All of you know that for the processing and operation of a control system, we need a high speed data orientation system. So here in case of the digital control system, we need a high speed data orientation programming. Means the execution of any program or execution of a particular system must be high. This speed of a computer hardware has increased exponentially since 1980s and this increase in processing speed and has made it possible to simple and process control signal. Basically this process control signal at its very high speed because the interval between the samples and the sampling periods can be made very small and this digital controller achieves the performance that is essentially the same as that based on the continuous monitoring of the control variable. So, one more major point of the control system. Whenever we are going to implement any of the control system, it should be noted that particular cost. Whenever we are going in a market or purchasing any of the model or any of the cost or whatever, a computer or mobile or anything, us, we have to ask about the cost. So, what is the cost as per the parameters? of that respective machinery whenever we buy, we should know about the features of respective category. So this cost, although the price of most goods and services have steadily increased, and this cost of the digital circuitry continues to decrease, and advances in a very large scale integration, that is VLSI system or VLSI technology have made it possible to manufacture better transfer or for the faster and more reliable integrated circuit and to offer them to the consumer at a very low price. So this has made to the use of the digital controller 
more economical even for a small or low cost application all these advantages are basically need for a particular system or in case of the analog or digital control system but these are the controls which offers a high advantage over the analog control system so this point to be considered whenever we are study any digital control system thank you